What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball Platinum Anniversary 12 box case break. Pickertines number four just sold out. And again, all cards ship. Another case break going off. So this takes about an hour. So sit back and relax, guys. If this isn't for you, you can always just check back in in an hour. Maybe go grab some, some dinner. Go grab some, some soft drinks. Go shopping. I don't know. Or you can stick around and watch it if you do enjoy it. Alright, so I'll do the same thing guys, I'll rip six, and then we'll go through them and then rip another six, go through them. That too, Steve. If you hate street signs, definitely do that. That'll uh, definitely get your mind off things. You know, maybe go order a Kevin Fiala Kings jersey for Brittany. I only got one coming your way. So, you know, if you guys want to match or something. Yes, it was like a trade and sign, but I just think, uh, oh, I don't think Minnesota was going to give him what he wanted. It worked out for both parties. I've seen a lot of people in comments and articles saying, you know, Kings did well, and then obviously what you guys got in return was well for you guys. You know, you guys got a good defenseman coming your way whenever he's ready to play, and then you know, first rounder. So I think it worked out for both of us.
Nice, Steve. Yeah, I heard he was from Minnesota, actually. State college there. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't really know too much about him. I know, obviously, we drafted him and stuff, but... The Kings didn't really need another right-handed defenseman. They really needed a couple lefties. So, I think... They were willing to part ways with him. And also... I mean... First-round picks are great, but... It's not like it's a... You know, top 10 pick, right? It's like a 19th overall, 20th overall, whatever it was. And, and to be honest, man, I mean, uh, Kings didn't already have too many good players down there. So why draft another young player that might not even get a chance to play for the next couple years either? You know, I think they're going to clean a little bit of house. You know, they're going to clean house probably. I mean, I can see a couple more players getting traded or, or uh, not re-signing is what I'm saying, you know? Now what the Kings really need to do is lock up Kempe. He's a he's a restricted free agent, and uh, obviously you want to obviously pay that guy. He had a great season, breakout year too. But although Kopitar is aging a little bit, he's still producing points. He still leads the the team in points and stuff. But uh, I mean, obviously, you know, if you're going to have him and Kempe on the same line with Kopitar, I mean, I don't think Kopitar's had the craziest of skilled uh, wingers as he's going to have this year with Fiala and Kempe on the same on the same line. You know, then you throw in, like I said, Danelle's line two with Trevor Moore. I mean, to be honest, Steve, all of our big contracts that we had, like a Parisa and Suter type contracts, have actually played out well. Kopitar has like three, four years left on it, which I think he'll play out anyways. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not saying he's slowing down, but in the sense that like he's only averaging like 60 points a, a year now, right? But he's still leading the Kings in points. So isn't that crazy? So, but Quick's contract, he's on the last year of his 10-year deal. He got this contract... Right after he won the first Stanley Cup. That contract, done. Dustin Brown pretty much played out this year too. And that was the end of his contract. Done. You know, the only one that still remains is like Kopitar. And and like Dowdy's. Dowdy's is a little bit longer because he just signed like an 8 year deal like 2 years ago. But we don't really have those crazy big contracts anymore. So that's kind of the good thing. Yes, sir, Steve. That's probably going to happen. I mean, actually, hold on. I got like five orders that I'm pretty sure all these actually sold out by now. Sold out. Still left. Sold out. Still at five and six. Yeah, but that's the thing, Steve. How long did they actually play into that contract? Quick, uh, Quick, Kopitar, and, and Brown were all like 10 plus years too. You know, or 8 plus, 10 plus years. But like, how long did they play it out? So that's the thing. Quick's about to play it out this upcoming season. And Dustin Brown played out his, you know? Which is rare. It doesn't really happen. Then, like, the other big contracts, like Jeff Carter's and those guys, those guys obviously got traded and the new team picked up the contracts.
All right, last box here, and then we'll go through the six. Man, I love Rogue One so much that anytime it comes out, I, I don't even mind watching it again. I've probably seen this shit like a hundred times. Alright, there's six boxes. Let's rock and roll. Tom Hatch. Willie Calhoun. Goldschmidt. Bo Bichette. Four ninety nine. Jackie Bradley Jr. D. Gordon. Brad Keller. Tim Frazier. Sterling Sharp. And Jimmy Lambert. Next one. Luen Diaz is your second auto. Miami Marlins, that's going to Brian. Dusty Baker. Number to 70. Astros. Kyle Cody. And Santiago Espinel. Soda for us. Do I get it? Chris Bryant. Brennan Crawford. And nice Kyle Lewis. Jack Morris. And Robert Osuna. Yeah, he, should, he will be there. He'll be paired up with Kobe and Kempe most likely. And if they switch it around, maybe he's with Dano. 
on the second, but he'll be paired up with one or the other. I mean, I don't know at what point do you not put Kovatar at the first line, but for sure Kempe, the, the winger, should be the first. But, you know, they always switch it up with pairings. Depends on what works and what doesn't. Clevenger. Roko. Ahmed Rosario. That's a nice looking card there too for the Cleveland Indians. Or Guardians, I should say. Brian. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I didn't realize that he had that good of a season, to be honest. I just remember him signing that one-year deal, like five million, right, or something like that. It's kind of more like a prove it. Whoa! Look at that orange, beautiful Nolan Ryan, Angels edition. Eric Sonsala with that one. I have twenty-five of twenty-five. Ooh, Rex is gonna be jealous. That is a beauty. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they always play better in their contract year. <laughs> Ian Kennedy to 50. Jose Barrios. Kevin Newman. Brandon McKay. Charlie Warren. Ichiro. Yeah, center looks great on that card. Dent to one eighty nine. So there. Fama Reyes. Imagine they actually created a card like that. I know they have photos of it, but a card? They would never promote violence like that, right? <laughs> Gregory Soto. Charlie Moore, uh, Charlie Blackman, sorry. Phil Rizzuto. There's an actual real, like, tops card of Nolan Ryan, like, in the middle of the fight. I know there's 8x10 photos and all that. They create photos of it, but not, there's no, there's no real card, is there? Chris Paddock. Freddie Freeman. I don't think Tops would want to create a card like that, but maybe they did. 
Alright, here we go, next one. Shirt's an apostle. And from no race. Race. Chris Sale. To ninety nine. Joey Barks. Kill off. Hunter Hawk. And Ken Gill Giles. LMR. And Tristan McKenzie, very nice looking card too as well. What a break. This is like the third auto, I believe. Second or third auto for, uh, for the Cleveland Guardians. Brian with that one. Cole Hamels. Wow, Babe Ruth Refractor, that's pretty nice. Yankees. Eric got them there. Taylor Widener, D backs to one ninety nine. That's Adam. Tyler O'Neill. Omar Mazzara. Hal Neuenhauser. Magnus, uh, Nick Sensel. Should be the, I think, 70. Yeah. Joe Adele and Kettle Marte. Nice. I think those three breaks are already sold out. So random teams sold out for SPA, uh, random teams for uh, Chronicles, and pick your team's Chronicles sold out. So again, we're going to be a little busy after I get back from my dinner break, but 
keep it coming. I still feel like we should be able to at least get done with um, the two SPA pick your teams that are at five and six left. So let's get those done. And then after that, we we'll probably call it, guys. It'll probably bring us down to like 11 o'clock anyways. did a leaf stitches and slabs with us and there's no slabs in the box how wild is that Dodgers playing today? I know they're playing this weekend here in LA. Oh, they're playing the Padres. Wow, it's crazy, Drew. That actually, <laughs> something similar to that happened to me, too. I was doing an Instagram last year. I still have the video recorded, too. I was opening up a box of um, Court Kings basketball. Open it up. The pack's there. You know, kind of feels like a little bit of a thick pack, too. So I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe we have some extra cards. And then I open up the pack, and I see no cards but four blanks instead of the cards. Literally, unwrap the pack and it's four blanks. That was the wildest thing I've ever seen. Like I've seen packs missing stuff in the sense that like the whole pack is empty or like there's no pack in the box. I've seen that in Immaculate and stuff like that, but never in my breaking career I, I went through something like that. I'm sure we contact the leaf, right? And we're gonna get replacements, I assume, or a new box. Wow, shit like that does happen though, Terry. Yeah, like they'll be missing cards in a pack or no packs or cards, and then all of a sudden there's like a thick, thick, thick pack. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, 
We usually try to. Excuse me. I mean, we ended up just giving the other customer another box, and then we contacted our distributor, and then they sent us a, a reimbursement of the box. But we just let the customer pick another box that, since we had multiples, but yeah, it was wild. I think uh, since it was a repack product and it wasn't even like an official product like from from like you know panini tops um, they'll probably I'd assume they'd give you some good stuff probably better than what you would have got in the box because kind of a little bit embarrassing you know it's not like they made a lot of those boxes usually leaf makes only X amount of boxes and cases so I'm sure they want to make it right. But then again, I don't know. I don't know how they handled it, but I'm just glad they're sending something, which is good. Okay, because if it was like a normal product, like a, I guess it was something like this, right? You're missing an autograph, missing packs, or something like that, then, you know, obviously, it's, it's all machine error, because obviously, no one's hand packing this, you know? But something like those leaf stitches and slabs that it's a repack product and it's like, you know, multi-sport and then obviously like memorabilia and cards, then that's something that was definitely an error, human error right there. You know, maybe somebody stole in the factories those three hits that you would've got, I don't know. Put it like that, you know. Can never rule that out of the question.
Um, I think that went like fourth or fifth. Because uh, actually the customer that got it got number two and four, he didn't really go value. He went with like the Steph Curry's that he wanted. So I think it dropped a little bit. The Brady also dropped two to like three. Or actually, sorry, it dropped to like four or five, I should think. And then the cut was like five, six. Yeah, I mean, I don't see, I, I don't know how how good each slab was in every box, but I'm sure you'll get one really, really good one. I mean, like I said, I don't, I, I don't, I, I didn't get to break any of the products, so I don't know if all three slabs are always good. But if there's always only one good one, then they'll probably give you at least two out of the three good ones. But yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how they're gonna work that out. Home run! Who was that? Max Muncy. I actually saved the video though, Justin. So now when I do those like hit pack or, or um, hit drafts, I uh, I save them now. Oh, at least those. So you can watch it on the IGTV part. Last box here, guys. There you go. Good luck. First one is Hoyt Wilhelm.
Carlos Martinez. Wow, no way! Mickey Mantle. Woo! Finally, I've definitely felt like I've ripped 11,000 packs by now. Wow. That's one in 11,000 packs. That in nice and slow, nice and slow. There we go, guys. Very nice. We got one. And uh, congratulations, it's going to Eric with the Yankees. Gene for the uh, San Diego Padres. Gagne. JT Brubaker. Wow, look at that. Ken Griffey Jr. Man, that looks beautiful as well. I would love to pull a Ken Griffey Jr. autograph. What a great box. Imagine you had this as a personal. Jeez. And look at that. Just hit a home run for the Dodgers right now. Second one in four day in four games. Max Muncy. Wow, Willie McCovey re uh, refractor too is really nice. And Evan White. All right, here we go. Next box. Noah Senegar. Garrett Crochet. For the White Sox. Number 1099. Mark Mulder. Alfaro. Gary Carter, Red Eyes, that looks really nice. Or Red Atomic, I should say. It's 100. Casey Mize for Detroit. Julio. Urias. Nelson Cruz. Greg, uh, Lindsay, uh, sorry, Zulinski. Zulinski. Or Luzinski. I don't know why my tongue got twisted there for a second. Ozzy Smith, you're a wizard, Ozzy. All right, next box. Jim Cat for the Minnesota Twins. Steve Locke. Getting a lot of old school guys. Corey Seager. Luis Garcia. Keegan Aiken. Merrill Kelly, Jordan Holloway, not numbered, Will 
Craig. Jose Barrios. One ninety nine. Andreas Galarraga. Rockies. Matt Arnold to seventy. Cody Willie. And Albert Abreu. Did I miss an auto in this box? I might have skipped one over. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only have eight autos here. Let me go back and double check. Oh, it was Jim Cat? Wait. Then why? Why do I only have eight autos? Hold on, let me double check again. I thought I did Jim Cat, but for some reason I just decided to count and then I realized I'm missing one. Because it should have been nine, that'd be 10, 11, 12, right? So, did I skip a box that didn't have an auto? I mean, if the Mickey Mantle one didn't have an auto, that's fine, but. Just wondering. If not, I'll double check the cards later, but I was just curious because. Once I put it in the stack. I'll look at it. Oh, there it is. I put him in the wrong stack. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. My tongue twister name for some reason for me. Thanks, so guys. Now I found it. That's nine. There we go. So back on track, guys. Sorry about that. Ooh, we got a gold coming up. Wow, Freddie Freeman gold. Oh, that's. A Braves edition, though, but still a nice one. Uh, Atlanta Braves going to Steve Locke. Look at that, Steve. Woo! 16 of 50. This has definitely been a better case. Boost your eyes. Bob Gibson. Max Scherzer, Washington. Matt Arnold with the Nationals. Robinson Cano. And Brent Rooker. To 50. Wow, Showtime Refractor. This is my first time even seeing a Showtime Refractor at all. Angel's going to Eric. And then we got Kyle Funkhauser. Bill Mazeroski. Rivera. And Alejandro Cruz.
Alright guys, two more boxes. Tyler Glass now for TB. Ray's going to David. That's a refractor, so it should be out of uh, 199. 199 right there. Let's continue on. We got Daryl Strawberry. Shane Beaver. And then we got a Carrie Wood. A little checkerboard. Isaac Paredes and Nelson Cruz to seventy. We have Clark Schmidt, the Ian Kennedy, Trey Turner. For Washington, a 100. Eddie Rosario. And Jonathan Steger. Alrighty guys, last box here. Thank you guys for selling this out. Had fun. Oh shoot, is this a true red? Wow, it is a true red. It's David Wright. That's a true red to five for the Mets. Ricky, who won this in a team random. And it is one of five. What a case. Um, I think Definitive Baseball comes out next week, Logan. Either the next week or the week after, but I think it is next week. Hey, that's a nice one right there. Joe Maurer. Posada. Chipper, blue, $1.99. Roberto Clemente, that's awesome. I wonder if these guys sell well. I'm pretty sure they do. It's actually had a lot of great cards. Pirates, Dominic with that one. Kevin Mahler. We got Shannon Stewart. George Brett, too, as well for KC. Damn. And Bob Lemon to end us off, too. Yeah, this case was definitely much better than the other one. The other one had some nice colors and players, but this one by far much, much better. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That was it. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, again, I'll quickly go through the color for you guys. Just a quick little recap color-wise. Stewart, Jones, Posada, Trey Turner, Schmidt, Cruz, Gary Wood, Mazeroski, Funkhauser. Rooker, Scherzer, Crochet, Syndergaard, Muncy, uh, Wilhelm, Joe Adele, Sensel, Neuhauser, Galarraga, Berrios, Holloway, Aiken, Casey Mize, Carter, Widener, Alomar, Gaz, Kirloff, Sale, Apostol, Abreu, Blackman, Soto, Reyes, Lindor, Ichiro, Berrios, Kennedy, Rosario, Lewis, Gooden, Cody, uh, Dusty Baker, Sharp, Bo Bichette, and Tim, uh, Tom Hatch, sorry. 
these ones are all just refractors, and there's actually some really good, like, you know, Hall of Fame veteran refractors in here, too, but just all refractors. And then, um, autograph-wise, let me actually quickly just top load a couple of these, and then I'll go through them right now. All right, so good refractor right there, Roberto Clemente, Shohei Otani, and Babe Ruth. Got a nice color here, Griffey, to 189. Autograph wise, Taylor Glass now, Brad Keller, Luen Diaz, Framnell Reyes, uh, Gene. We got Cat, uh, Greg Luzinski, uh, Bucky Dent. We had some nice colors here, Tristan McKenzie. That was number to 150. Freddie Freeman Gold, which was number to 50. Nolan Ryan Orange, which of course was number 25 of 25. A red David Wright, numbered one of five. And of course we hit the Mickey Mantle, super, super short print for the Yankees. And yeah, congratulations there to Eric. And there you go, guys. Great case, really fun. Next one's in the store, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.